How we doing, guys? How we doing? It's Wheel of Betting time once again. The season is almost ready to kick off. It's been a great summer, fantastic World Cup. But let's get back to the, the, the meat and potatoes of football. <laughs> now, of course, it's, it's club football. Mark Michael here, of course, uh, joining me here. And, and this Brasserie in North London, but don't worry, we're still the same guys. Wobbly table as well. Wobbly table as well. <laughs> Wobbly table. We're still working class boys at heart, well, apart from Marcus <laughs> from Windsor. But anyway, we're looking at the three uh, football leagues um, today. We'll start with League Two, and we'll get straight into it, Mark, because time is of, is of the essence. And we'll, we'll start with the who you think going to win the division. Portsmouth, once again, at the top of the bet. And I think it's with the fourth or fifth season in a row. They've been at the, the higher end of the anti-post lists. And then we've got Burry, who David Flitkoff has been tremendous. Luton, of course, have come up from the, the Skrilla X Premier. And Shrewsbury High, spending Shrewsbury. Uh, next in the bed. It, let's just start with Portsmouth, Mark. Yeah. Um, like I say, they've flattered to deceive the last few years. Will that be the case again this year? I don't think so. Um, yeah. I think I doubled the price of last season, 4-1 to one to 8-1 to one this season. Uh, the squad seems to get bigger, stronger. Uh, there's plenty of goals in that team. A lot of the players shouldn't be playing at League 2 level at least. The League 1 players lost 8 games at home last season, which of course cost them the home crowd seems to, the expectation upon them didn't work in their favour. Andy Orford still quite, jury's out for me on him. I think he only took charge of seven games towards yeah. the end of the season. Obviously he did very well. I think they finished in 13th after yeah, what it you know, looked like another relegation at times. Yeah. Craig Westcar scored 17 goals in a level above of Warsaw. He's joined them. You know, the, the, the team's got quality throughout. Yeah. Um, a player I'm quite looking forward to seeing this season, Nigel Atangana, non-league yeah. Arture apparently. Yeah. Um, you know, I think there's better bets elsewhere. I think Pompey sure. are probably a fair price, eight to one. I think you disagree there, but I think they're probably fair. I think they deserve to be the market leaders. Sure, sure, no. sure. Uh, Burry, great second half of the season. David Flitcroft, the man we both admire, uh, around nine to one to, to win this league. Burry's chances this year. Oh, I love Barry. I think yeah. they're absolutely outstanding. I think yeah. you've got a tried and trusted manager, yeah. David Flitcroft. Uh, lost five games of 27 after taking over. Um, you know, playoff form, um, throw in a few more victories rather than draws. Mm -hmm. uh, they've addressed that situation by potentially turning those draws into wins by signing. You know, they've signed um, Ryan Lowe, 19 goals at relegated Tramier. He might be knocking on a bit now, but he can still find yeah. the net. His <coughs> partnership with Danny Nardi up front could prove pivotal. Mm -hmm. uh, they were 10 to 1 at the start of June. Of course, they, they flopped right into 17 to 2, 7 to 4 for promotion. They're nice and short, but I think they're definitely going to be. I think, in the top three, uh, they're the team I fancy out of the, the leading runners. Okay, Luton won the conference with a <laughs> head in their chest as the same horse racing. Uh, 10 to 1 best place with Coral. Thoughts? Uh, no, not for me. No. Uh, 102 goals, 19 points clear at Cambridge. You know, you can't knock that record, but I think they've been really overrated in these okay. markets. I think they're going to have a, a tough time uh, recapturing that, that stunning form, and I think another promotion is probably beyond them. Interesting signings, but they've left their, their top scorer, Andre Gray, go. Mm -hmm. scored 30 goals last year. The average position for a promoted conference club is 13th, and I think that's that to sort of seventh is, is okay. where their aim should be. And the last of the quartet that I mentioned at the top of the video, Shrewsbury, who bought in a lot mm. of new players. They've got Mickey Mellon, of course, who was some some say unfairly sacked by Fleetwood last season. Shrewsbury, any chance of winning this league? Uh, Shrewsbury are interesting. Three of the last four seasons are relegated well team as one sure. promotion straight back, and uh, it all comes down to whether Mickey Mellon can actually form a, a team, a unit together really quickly because he's brought in so, so many players. Yeah. Some of them really are quite eye-catching. James Collins, of course, fired them to victory and promotion the last time on this level. Cost 200,000 just a matter of months ago, really. Uh, Liam Lawrence, James Wesolowski, two outstanding players for, for League Two football. They really do mean business. There's a buzz back around the town. Yeah. Mellon's promised to play good football. Uh, but yeah, I, I like Trees. They'll be in the shake-up there. Yeah, so let's, let's finalise all your selections at the end of the video. So let's move on to teams outside the top four who you think can either win the league or get promoted. Okay. Let's, let's, let's spit some teams out here. Uh, Burton. I haven't mentioned Burton. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was on the Wagyu podcast this week, didn't know yeah. I mentioned Burton. I think Burton will go very well. Yeah. Stuart Bevan's an outstanding signing, probably the best signing in League Two this season, alongside Craig Westcar at Portsmouth. I like Plymouth. Yeah, um, I think definitely. Plymouth are tried and trusted again. John Sherrod, an improved manager at this level. Let their, ma let their um, captain go, Connor Urahain, to, to Barnsley, but they've replaced him uh, and, and sort of strengthened. They're 9 to 1 for me, the top Southern club okay. up against Luton and Portsmouth. That's a massive price there. Uh, Northampton, you've got mm -hmm. to expect them to, to push Take on. on yeah. Biggest budget last season, or one of the biggest budgets, nearly got, wow. went down. Uh, Chris Wilder lost three of the last 15 games to guide him to safety. Um, you've, got to, you've got to assume that they'll build on that. Mark Richards, a very solid signing. John Joe O'Toole mm -hmm. scored loads of goals for relegated Bristol Rovers. A lot of people talk about York as well. I think York yeah. haven't addressed yeah. the goal situation. Yeah. Um, 
fantastic defence. Jake Hyde's been brought in from Barnet to, to score goals, but uh, defensively they'll be very, very solid. It's just whether they can score enough goals. Yeah. And finally, just yeah. want to mention Wimbledon, 80 to 1 at the start of the yeah. summer, now 40 to 1. Um, just insane. Yeah, yeah, they did their business very early. Yeah, Neil Arley's yeah, yeah, quite yeah. a shrewd tactician, got the defence playing very well, strengthened that with Danny Bullman, but it's up front. Akin Fenwer, everyone loves Akin Fenwer. Uh, scored plenty of goals last season for Gillingham, despite not being a regular. And of course, Matt Tubbs as well, yeah. famous Matt Tubbs. Um, who found, to, found his scoring touch again when he went back to Crawley yeah. home. So, yeah, they're going to be contenders, and I think they're good dark, out, dark horses, outsiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it gets, it's a mouthwater and strike force, it really is. What about relegation? Who goes down to the Vanna Rama Premier League? <laughs> Great name. Skrillex last year, who's <laughs> Banana Rama this year? They're looking Great like name. imitating uh, musical acts. Give me a couple of names who uh, you think of it's, 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 it's really boring, everyone's talking about them, but Exeter 6 yeah, to 1. Yeah, yeah. Transfer embargo, you know. Paul Tisdale's hands have been completely tied, been unable to bring in any players. Yep. They've had to let the experienced players go, Alan Gow, Dryer Flynn, Stan Parkin. Yeah, yeah. It's his ninth year at the club. You can really feel like he's probably looking for an exit as soon as he can. Um, they won six games at home last season. That's an awful record. Only finished five points above the relegation zone. The, the squad's uh, weaker. Um, you know, Ten to one to finish bottom does appeal. Only two go down, so it's a difficult market. But you know, next to six to one, definitely. Yeah, no money at that club whatsoever. Where did they play in pre-season? Brazil. Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Walk that one out. Someone walk that one out. I, I can't even walk that one out. Come on, anyone else? Uh, Cheltenham is the one. Yeah. Oh, I've, 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 I've discussed Dagenham, Morecambe, Accrington, because I think they're all too short. I think they always seem to find ways. Yeah. And various reasons why I'm supporting either them. Cheltenham, for me, they regressed massively last season after punching above their weight for two consecutive seasons in yeah. the playoffs. Uh, interesting signings. Asa Hall, I like him. Mark Taylor. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Matt Taylor. Trevor Carson. Um, but, you know, I just look at Cheltenham and I think if they if they do regress slightly, it could be fatal. Sure. Um, I think Mark Yates is a very good, shrewd tactician, yeah. a good manager. He always gets the best out of his teams. But 10-1, to 1, they should not be double the price sure. of Morecambe for relegation. Sure. Okay, let's just round this up and summarise this League 2 chart. Give me your best bets. We've talked about promotion. we talked about the outright winner. We've talked about promotion. We've talked about relegation. Summarise. Knit them all together and give me your best bets. Uh, Barry 9-1 to 1 to win the league. Yeah. I really like Plymouth 15-8, to 8, top 7. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an odds on price, but Northampton should not be 10 to 11 to finish in the top half this season. League 2 chat right here.